I watched my friends burn to death on a dusty road in the middle of Afghanistan. Constant depression and symptoms from PTSD are still something I struggle with continuously. I think the first uh, therapy session I had, like the therapist just started crying and I was like, what the f I broke the therapist. As an ICU nurse, we're used to losses. Um, Insight and um, empathy, which is people with post-traumatic post stress disorder. And so many people think about that, um, this condition was a result of warfare or somebody having something very bad directly happen to them. But there are lots of different ways to acquire this type of trauma. And this piece reflects it in a, in a large scope. And it shows how there's um, a new treatment, which is a shot that goes to the neck that helps to reset the brain and it helps reset the nervous system to allow people to grow and move past this. And I think um, a lot of people don't realize that there's certain trauma and certain um, conditions that the brain can over that can overcome the brain and the way the brain works, that really you cannot just will your way out of it. You can't just think your way out of it. And then there's a sort of resetting that needs to happen in your mind to allow you to move past it. And this piece really reflected not just um, how people get hurt in this type of way, but how powerful this um, resource can be for people who end up feeling they have no choice and often have to resort to um, suicide or self-harm to relieve um, this pain. So I thought that this piece was very powerful, very relevant for the times. It's such an eye-opening documentary. I'm really glad I stumbled on this one because it very much opened my eyes to the possibilities in our healthcare and where mental health and health physical health, which they should be entwined, but seeing how those can um, join forces through through science um, and, and how we can help really benefit how people live and help them overcome trauma. And uh, I, I think that it's brilliant that we have found ways to assist in people not having to struggle. Uh, really brave sharing of the individual stories with the deep honesty that allowed that transformation um, after surgery to really be seen and really be heard and blossom. Uh, the difference in experience just really brought tears to my eyes that uh, that could be afforded to people. Um, blue, beautifully shot and just really excellent storytelling uh, that I hope more people learn about and that can be treated by. What this film does is it looks at three patients, uh, two vets and uh, one uh, frontline nurse who had these uh, PTSD uh, symptoms and, and, and had, had very uh, troubled lives as a result. And they were chosen to take the, uh, the stellate ganglion blocker shot. And it follows what happens to them over the course of a year at intervals of one month, three months, six months, a year. And it, it's clear that on their testimony, uh, it has a, a, a very beneficial effect. And I'm sure the medical profession is looking ever closer at it. There are um, the testimonies by doctors who are with the FGB project in Chicago, which seems to be the center of activity. And, and, and they describe how it works and uh, the success they have. So what you take away from it, though, I thought was, yes, there may be this drug that helps, but how profoundly people are injured, not just emotionally and psychologically, but almost physically by the uh, traumatic stress um, uh, and, and the feelings of inadequacy and depression and and just general anxiety that follow in its uh, footsteps. And it's something that affects all of us. The shot was a wonderful reminder of how important invention is. And I think I'll, we've had a lot of documentaries recently that are, that are about scams in the medical profession. 
I guess specifically we all think of one. And this was a nice reminder of the good medical inventions can actually do. And it does a great job of starting off with setting up a problem that needs help that I didn't think would have an easy answer in a shot. Um, but it did. And then it goes into depth explaining how they got there, why it's important, and the effect it's had. It immediately pulled me in with this, this mystery because it's, it's like, you know, what is the shot? Like, what are we talking about? Are we talking about vaccines here? Are we talking about drugs? Like, uh, alcohol? Like, what, what is this shot? But you knew right away, it's something medical. Um, but you didn't really know exactly what. And you didn't really know exactly why everyone was connected. Um, because all three of these people were coming from very different backgrounds and and walks in life. And, and yet they have um, this one major thing in common. Um where they're all dealing with these different types of PTSD. And, you know, PTSD is it's such a stigma and a lot of people don't fully understand how to, to, to manage it. And I've never heard anything about finding a medical solution to just kind of flipping the switch and turning it off. It was um, very interesting how all these journeys are connected. It was like a docu-style infomercial for this procedure to make you feel comfortable with the idea of getting it and to inform you about what it was like for these three patients um, and to give you a little bit of the info about it. It felt very much like, you know, we're selling this to you. We're getting you on board. Um, this is a new wave and we want you to be a part of it. And also, you know, encouraging someone else that has a similar struggle to, to, to step forward, because when it comes to medical procedures, sometimes we just, we don't trust it, you know? And when, when you first think of the shot, you know, saving you from PTSD, it, it sounds ridiculous, but you could clearly see that it worked. How educational was this? I had no idea that this treatment existed and the help that it's given to so many people with PTSD is just amazing and it's fantastic. I loved the special effects that they did with the laptop and how they put the interview in the laptop. I thought that was very smart filmmaking. I thought it was really clever. I think they did a great job with all of the interviews. It really made it personal it helped you connect to each one of the patients, you know, and what they were going through and what their stories were. They, they did a beautiful job in this and the score was great too. I loved the underlying score of this because it uplifted everything and it gave you a sense of hope. Having this is such an interesting, fascinating thing to learn about, but to also see the kind of transitions and transformations and that it, there aren't just like, oh, you have trauma or, oh, you have depression or, oh, you have PTSD. This is the, the way that you deal with it. Or these are the three or four ways that you can deal with it. That there are other ways that are still being explored and there are, you know, maybe out of the box thinking, but it's cutting edge and the results are amazing really and being able to see different situations different stages of when their trauma happened how their trauma was happening what their trauma was these were three different people with three different circumstances and the results were just as incredible one person to the next so i thought that that was a really great way to kind of showcase what this treatment is and what it could be. Inspiring hearing everyone share their experiences and stories and the before and after experiences. Um, I think it did a really great job of destigmatizing mental health struggles um, and kind of looking at what are some medical options available for, for people. And I think that was a really great angle. The, these different people, different backgrounds and, you know, how they are, you know, they're, traumas, their differences in life, their hardships and how they're working through it and how they're trying to go forward. And um, 
it shows like the hope and the hurt of people and it's very well made um good editing choices uh people have very interesting stories and make their emotionally compelling and emotionally interesting mm -hmm.